Happy October 1st, everyone. It has arrived. And I did get myself a happy Halloween present. So you may remember me mentioning a couple videos ago about Paul Rubens' Pee Wee Herman. I used to have a Pee Wee Herman doll. You know, the pull string one. I broke it. My mom kind of theorized. She thinks she got rid of him while I was asleep. Because that was the only way to get rid of anything I carried around so much like my Pee Wee doll. And I probably woke up asking where Pee Wee was and she probably answered, he's around here somewhere, only he was never seen again. And then with the news of Paul Rubin, seeing every tribute video from people that held on to their Pee Wee doll because he is so precious, it made me miss mine a ton. So I got one. And I am so happy I did. I feel like a kid again. Like I, I'm literally holding him. I'm cradling him because I love him so much. He was in the box, but he had that little like, you know, the plastic shield that usually goes on toys. He didn't have that anymore. So I could tell he was kind of played with, but the little, tie thing around his neck was still attached and I just felt so bad. He was in that for so long. I immediately took him out and the kid in me is so thrilled to have him. So happy together. But the weird thing is he was in an estate sale. So you guys kind of know what that means, right? And usually with every scary movie, I'm going to put him down now. Usually with every scary movie, something haunted always comes from an estate sale. I took that risk. I love you. What? Hey. There's no way. There's no way. No. You're in peace. No. You're in things. Yeah, most totally agree. It had to have been. It had to have been. And don't worry, this was just a story. Nothing weird really happened with him yet. It was just some Halloween fun. So, from me and Pee Wee. Happy October 1st. <laughs> See you guys later.